We're seeing lots of cloud cover linger this morning across most of southern Illinois. Good news is, is we're really not seeing too much in terms of shower activity this morning. Our cold front did pass through the region overnight to last night, and we did see a lot of shower activity yesterday, but that has tracked further off towards the east with this cold front. Now behind it, we are seeing lots of cloud cover, and that is what is helping us stay warm this morning. We're sitting into the mid 50s across most of southern Illinois, 54 this morning for Carbondale and 55 for Paducah, 51 across Elsinore and 52 across Union City. As we go throughout the rest of our day, we'll likely see cloudy conditions stick around. We will see breezy conditions as well as cooler temperatures. Clouds will linger as we go through the overnight hours tonight, and then we will see much cooler lows early tomorrow morning, but they'll still be above average. Tomorrow, we are going to be mostly sunny during the afternoon with near average high temperatures. As we go throughout the day today, we'll likely continue to see temperatures stay into the lower 50s through 8 a.m. Mid 50s expected for afternoon highs, likely around 56 degrees here in southern Illinois. We'll see temperatures quickly return to the mid 40s. Despite lots of cloud cover, I do think all of us are going to remain dry today. Area wide, again, you can expect lots of mid 50s across southern Illinois, upper 50s to lower 60s a little bit further south across western Kentucky and across the boot heel of Missouri. Today, we are going to see a sustained wind out of the northwest at around 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts that could potentially be as high as 22 miles per hour, especially later on this morning through the early afternoon hours. Here's what we're tracking hour by hour. Again, cloud cover lingers through most of the morning hours today. That cold front pushes completely out of our region. We may see some breaks in the clouds around the lunchtime hour, but again, most of us are going to remain overcast as we go throughout the day today. Again, those clouds are going to start to clear later on this evening and into the overnight hours as we kick off our Friday. I think some of us will still be partly cloudy in our eastern counties, more sunny further towards the west as an area of high pressure works its way further north and east. As it does, we should see clouds exit to our north and towards our east, but a few clouds are certainly possible later on tomorrow during the afternoon. High pressure is going to exit the region as we get into the overnight hours Friday, headed into Saturday, and then we likely will see partly cloudy skies to kick off Saturday, but that will quickly go away as another area of high pressure enters in for late in the day on Saturday. We will see some sunshine through the early morning hours on Sunday, but then more cloud cover is expected. Cloudy skies are expected Monday and Tuesday out ahead of our next storm system, but we're really not going to have to worry about anything in terms of shower activity until we make it to Tuesday. We'll dry out Wednesday and then another chance for showers and thunderstorms is possible on Thursday. So you certainly are going to want to keep the storm track three app right there in the palm of your hand. You'll be able to keep an eye on all of our temperatures as well as our next chance for rain towards the middle of next work week. Now temperatures tomorrow morning, while they will still be above average, are going to be much colder than tomorrow, likely into the lower 40s. We'll see highs tomorrow, likely around 57 to 58 degrees, which is right about where we should be for this time of year. The lower 60s, though, quickly do return as we head into the weekend and into early next week. 66 by Sunday with mostly cloudy skies. As we look ahead, though, towards the middle of next work week, those temperatures by Tuesday could be pushing 70. We do have a 40% chance of scattered showers and storms on Tuesday, but until then, we'll remain dry. Average for today and tomorrow, above average as we head into the weekend.